Welcome back to another episode of Fix My Firm. All right, so the question that someone sent in this week, or more so kind of the scenario that they painted, was that every two weeks, they get this anxiety because payroll is coming up. And they were just like, how do different law firm owners deal with this? Because every two weeks, people got to get paid. And I'm always stressed out about this. This becomes a very pain because I just, I don't look forward to it every two weeks. And so after I was reading that, I thought about it. And so here's a couple of things that I would say, you know, to the person that sent that, that comment in. First, thank you for sending that in. And also understand that you're not the only one who feels that. There are a lot of law firm owners who feel that. And part of that is just because when you go from that transition of just being a lawyer who practices law to then, you know, you start your firm and you're still kind of working solo. And then when you start hiring staff, that becomes a very real situation that a lot of lawyers have to navigate is getting used to being able to pay other people and knowing that, hey, there's enough money in the bank to be able to cover that. And so the way I tend to tell you to really process that is, first, we need to really look at, from a finance standpoint of how much is coming out for payroll, like what is the average payroll look like? Then once we kind of understand what the average payroll looks like, we kind of have a dollar amount of, okay, all right, we need to make sure that we have more than that in the bank account when it comes down to payroll. Now, one of the ways that I've seen that as a practical tip that has helped a lot of firms is to start looking at all of the money that comes out on a monthly basis, like how much money are you paying out on a regular basis? And then what we do is we start to really look at the timing. Like, okay, how much do you have coming out in the same week that payroll happens? And so for most firms, what you're going to usually see is th their bigger cash, I guess you say outflows are going to be their payroll is probably going to be their credit card payment and it's going to be rent. And if they have loans, maybe it's the loan payments. So what you want to do is you want to start looking, th looking at that and saying, okay, all right, I want to avoid paying my credit card in the same week that payroll happens. Because if you're paying your credit card at the same time or in the same week or earlier in the same week, what you're going to notice is your bank account is going to take these huge drops down. And that's just going to raise your anxiety level. So what you want to kind of do is work on the timing of spacing out your bigger cash outflows. So you want to make sure you kind of space those out a little bit. The other thing you probably want to do is look at your invoicing process and ask yourself, like, how often are you sending invoices to your clients? Like, how often are you running the bills so that you can transfer money from your trust account into your operating account? Or how often are you following up to make sure that you are collecting from your customers? Because... A lot of times what causes that anxiety is that billing isn't being done on a, on a very consistent basis. Billing is kind of done, hey, oh, shoot, payroll's coming up, so let's go ahead and hurry up and get the billing in. Well, if you figure out a way to get the billing done on a more consistent basis, what I've noticed is by doing that, you're going to have a steady flow of money coming into the account, and then you can also adjust and shift when cash is going out for all your non-payroll expenses. And when you combine those two, what you'll start to see is we'll recognize, is this a situation where, hey, maybe there are some expenses in the business that we can probably cut back on? Or is this a revenue problem, meaning we need to figure out how to increase the revenue of the firm? And as you start to get that perspective, I think what it'll do is it will help give you a better picture on how you can solve it. Now, for many firms, when they kind of fix that timing of cash outflows, a lot of times that fixes their anxiety. But also, on the other hand, being able to bill your clients and run invoicing on a more consistent pattern 
that often combined with the the cash outflow timing usually solves a lot of that anxiety to where you can start to rest assured that, hey, there's enough money to actually meet payroll to where we're not going out of business after we pay payroll because we have those steady processes in place. And if you're doing those two things, I think it will go a long way in really helping you address that anxiety that you have around payday. <laughs> 